patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Raw wrap-up, and that's on the wrong thing. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here. I hope that the audio is going out. I honestly can't tell. Say hi in the chat room if it is. If not, I'm restarting this thing. Uh, oh, actually, I see it over here. Uh, what's up? It is Monday. It is where we do Raw things, and um, but we can't call it Raw things officially and have nothing to do with WWE. That's what uh, WWE Legal told me tonight. We're doing slightly cooked things. Slightly cooked things. That's right. That's right. Slightly oh, cooked. no, Mike, I didn't even set up. Your camera isn't even on over here. I, we, 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 I was in a hurry because I knew we were running late getting the show started. So let's see if we can get uh, Mad Mike's face on here. In oh, the that'd be good. I mean, uh, you know. I mean, we can just go ah. audio. I mean, that's fine. Let me just fix this laptop. It is raw. You know, I mean, this is a professional yeah. setup over here. We'll, we'll and do it live. We just do it live, and you plug the thing in, and hopefully it sees it, and you hear the, the, the noises, and now oh, you can yeah. see Mad Mike live from Beacon, New York. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Oh, well, no, not yet. Oh, oh, my, hey. my Mad Mike, Hold the on. only uh, Mayhemmer with a future endeavor from WWE. Uh,. <laughs> And now you are the only Mayhemmer with a legal notice. Yeah, I am, I am the only Mayhemmer with legal notice from WWE. That's amazing. I, I, I got to say, WWE's legal department was very nice about the situation. I It was just a misunderstanding. I was That's really good. lazy when I started this show in particular. And the mm -hmm. WWE Raw wrap-up with a logo for Monday Night Raw is still hanging out on Talk Shoe, our original one of our original hosts. You know, Talk Shoe. I, I'd argue we're still really lazy about the show now. Well, that is also true. <laughs> um, so, like, Apple and WWE legal. By the way, Brandon, do not rub in fantasy football shit right now. I've had a long day. I don't need that shit. <laughs> I've had yeah, a long day. I lost Saquon. My, my fantasy team is fucked this year, so it's basically fucked. <laughs> Damn, man. That sucks. You're like the spearhead of this one. So I know, but my fantasy team is fucked because mm -hmm. of injuries. Uh, but anyways, it was interesting because I think I think, you know, we know that 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 WWE is is jumping headfirst into podcasting themselves. And I think this is a symptom of that because um, they're, they're definitely doing a scrub. I mean, that has been sitting there. We haven't updated that feed that they tagged. We haven't updated that in almost two years. So since Raw was good. Ah, no. oh. Ah, oh. jokes. I have jokes. Oh. Raw's been fine. But anyways, I, it's fine. Everything's good. I changed the logo here and there and uh, changed the name of the show here and there and put a little... Yeah, this to the Monday Mayhem wrap-up. Yeah, right? my, and we, we, we had already changed the name. I was literally thinking yesterday about, like, man, I really need to stop using the Raw logo when I post this. And mm -hmm. here, lo and behold, happy Monday Night Raw. Here's a legal notice before 15 minutes before you go watch your wrestling from the company. <laughs> That's Ooh. so weird. How how weird is our lives right now, Mike? I mean, we can't even talk oh, about how weird yours I, is. I can't even. Mike, it. Mike, I was sitting at a uh, at a bar Monday night. Great. Uh, there's always an after party. There's always hanging out um, after the Revenge Pros up in Erie. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there with uh, AEW's uh, hottest new signee, Wardlow. And Excellent. I'm talking about Ninja Turtle fanny packs with Gregory Iron. Um, As you should. Yes, who, by the way, is verified on Twitter and has his own Wikipedia page, but was How not. How do you get verified on Twitter? Like, I, I don't really care about it, but I just want to. That's, go through well, the you got. I think. I think any of us need to do. I mean, half the wrestlers we know can't even get verified on Twitter. It, it's a. It's a. It's a. You need to prove to Twitter you're an important person. Right, well, to, I mean that's a, that's a very sliding scale. It depends oh, on to who. Absolutely, it's in the importance of celebrity. I'd I argue a lot of people I see with blue checks are not important. <laughs> that is true too. It's a very like, subject. are not important. Listen, at all. are you subject to people taking your name and identity and and, and pretending to be you? Uh, my my credit my credit card was stolen once. Okay, oh, not on the credit card level, but people impersonating I'm, I'm, you in social media on Twitter. There's been a mad mic in the indie wrestling scene for years, so yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got that guy. Um, there's another exactly. mad mic we found. I don't have a lot of Sorgatron um, um, That's battles. That's fair. That's fair, but, I mean, you know. There, there's there's a lot of uh I don't know if I can make a case to be the important Michael Sorg, you know, versus I, 
Sorg, I think you're the important. I appreciate that. I, I appreciate that. I in really fact, do. I, in fact, if 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 you were a wrestler, that would be your nickname, the important Michael Sorg. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, like like in quotes, the important quote, the important. Michael Sorg. Okay. Yes. I need to tag that one for later. Um, anyways, I don't have a time code, though. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> it's okay. No, there's no time code. I don't know why it's not working. Why is nothing show, work tonight? Show exists in a vacuum. It's Monday night. Yeah, it just exists in a vacuum. There's nobody out, out there watching us like that, except for, time of is course. A, time is an abstract concept. So. Tina in Seattle, Madden and Madden Pittsburgh. It's Carlin's. It's yeah. Carlin's, guys. It's Carlin's. Um, Brandon out in the KC. Uh, da, 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 da. Wheels is hanging out there, dude. Oh, Nick Nick Farrah decided to join us instead of coming into the studio. Oh, he like, did. He He's like, oh, I'm not gonna hop in there. He's probably Ooh, driving to be living, you know, unsafe. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, because no one knows what it's like to get home late and miss maybe an hour and a half of rock. No idea. No one knows how to do that, Sorg. That's no fine. Idea. You know, if I fine. wasn't in the wrestling <laughs> and do in podcasting, I'd get so much more sleep. I wouldn't. You wouldn't. I, I, <laughs> You're I like, still wouldn't. no. Classic I'd play insomnia. a lot more video games. Mm, I'd no. be all caught up on all of my television shows. Dude. But I would not be getting more sleep. I've just finished Jessica Jones. I just finished last night, Stranger Things. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. I finished, I finished Glow this weekend with okay. the lady. Oh, that was so good. Very good. It was very good. I'm excited for the fourth and final season. How caught up are you in New Japan? No. <laughs> no, no, she, she was asking Matt. She was asking. She was asking Matt Carlin. She, I'm an episode and a half. I'm an episode behind on NXT UK. I'm so proud of myself. Of course, I skipped. Excellent. I, I stopped trying to catch up. I watched Takeover, and I'm trying to just stay on from there. Good. Um, 205 Live is dead to me since I know it's going away. And uh, you know, NXT. I, kind I of sk- still watch it. Sorg. It, it, it's having a good run. It's a good. It's a good. A good lead it's up to the really, series finale. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's that's that's it's, high marks to hear that from you. Like I gotta say, great, it's some great wrestle. Like good. you want some great wrestle? That's some great wrestle. Like I feel I can't get any impact wrestling. Man, I was looking through old Shane Taylor matches today. Um, okay. I think we're gonna. I, I, <laughs> one of the random things I determined is I I have two timelines set up right now. A okay. uh, best of Shane Taylor, which I want to call Path of Destruction, uh-huh. and uh, which is just him, just in RWA, where he just turned into a monster. Uh, okay. It was it was good times. I really thought like every time he stepped through the, I, I thought he would was ready to murder me every time he stepped through the curtain in front of my camera. And sure. uh, I think we're gonna do a best of G Raver because okay. I don't know. People seem to be talking about. It. Also, randomly, I kind of posted a Rock and Roll Express match with Jim Cornette. So it's kind of all, of, sure, you know, whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. I want to. I so I want to post the thing with Jim Cornette. I want to post the G River match, which I think is also in the queue to go up, um, on our YouTube page. And I just want to link them two together. So there's just this, this like hate filled circle that happens in the Google search or YouTube search that that feeds on itself. Uh, that sounds like a snake eating its own tail, but okay. I was really getting into uh, analytics today, so okay, yeah. It's really interesting. It's really interesting. All right. So instead of SCU, you're SEO. Wow. Right. That's, that's pretty good. That's actually exactly what I was working on during. Pretty, Raw. I had a feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, so raw. So raw. Was there was a raw. T- wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Because I don't want you to sneak it in later. Yeah. Is there a Lego report? No, God, no, because I've he came been, in late. I've been too busy. I've been, too busy. Mm. I've been yesterday. I took a break from everything. Wow. I, I went to the gym, <sighs> and I just and I just laid down and I watched football all day, and I was just looking at my fantasy team and getting angrier and fucking angrier. It was it, you know, it was relaxing, but then it wasn't. I don't know what that's like. I mean, I got that a little bit because I I visited my sister and it was like they just put football on it. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is what this is like. Yeah. I mean, I've always said this. I don't care how my fantasy teams do as long as my actual football team does well. Mm -hmm. And boy, that is coming to fruition. So, (laughs) All right. Well, let's talk about things that Vince can control, uh, uh, professional wrestling. So Antonio Brown is getting signed by the XFL. 
Oh, somebody said something about him being the Dennis Rodman of this era, and I'm like, I hope no. that doesn't mean he's popping up in WWE. No, A, Dennis Rodman won championships. Two, Dennis Rodman is part of the NWO. Mm-hmm. I'm 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 speaking truth. Mm-hmm. Speaking truth, I'm a Bulls fan. Dennis Rodman won championships. And also <laughs> Antonio Brown has not married Madonna. That I know of. That I know of. That was that was a thing that happened. Um, Monday Night Raw. Hey, you know what? I there were barn burner fucking matches tonight, dude. Oh yeah, absolutely. dude. War Raiders in the OC. Yeah. Holy Although, uh, hell! That OC theme song needs to go away. <laughs> it was startling. It okay, was... it was startling that it happened. Dude, I haven't I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, dropped I'm, judgment I'm, on it yet. Because like, look, this is I need to, I need to maybe listen to it again when there isn't like people talking over it but first listen hold on look at it look, not, not look great it up on the google music and and like maybe it'll it'll grow on me man it's um, probably i'm firefly. glad we didn't le- end with like an a, a full minute of the firefly funhouse theme uh again tonight no we just ended with creepy laughter lots of laughter lots of laughter um man i like there's these references about uh-huh. about people and and now he's attacked Braun. Yep. Which makes you wonder. Makes me wonder a lot, Sork. Makes me wonder. Makes me think with my, my wrestling thinky head of uh you know, at Held in Cell. Mm-hmm. Do we get a moment? Oh my god, that's gotta be Braun. I I'm thinking bigger. You thinking bigger? You think it's all of them? Dong. Dong. Really? He did take out the man's brother last week. He did. That's a good thread. Man. He did take out the man. Like, I could see maybe a triple threat match inside the cell now because the Fiend has attacked Braun. Uh Uh-huh. And maybe Braun gets added to that Hell in a Cell match. No. No. And Matt, I was a Bulls fan back in the day when I actually watched basketball. But I have not watched basketball in many a many a year. I was a Bulls fan too when I was trying to fit in. I, I like Michael Jordan, basically. I like Michael Jordan. I watched the Bulls a couple of years after that, and now I realized, oh, I don't actually like basketball. I just like Michael Jordan. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, because your introduction it, it, it ended up everything. Yeah, um, pretty much. Also, uh, we had, a, what was it, a four-way? An elimination four-way? Five-way. Five way? Holy crap. Five way. Yeah. It was like everybody that I've ever wanted to have in a match. Booyaka, booyaka. Booyaka, booyaka. And um, um, hell, we could see Ray get taken out by the Fiend. I think it's inevitable. I think it's, it's got to be yeah. the setup for next week, right? Uh-huh. Or Dominic getting taken out by the Fiend. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're already shooting these uh, Lucha Underground type, type promos with AOP. By the way, growing on me this week. Don't hate it as much this week. I'm, all, I'm with. I'm getting. I'm getting closer to it. Okay. I mean, can I step back for a moment? Because it actually reminds me, sure. watching UK, um, where we're having these kind of things happening on Raw, these kinds of promotions or, or promos happening. Meanwhile, over on NXT UK and Matt Carlins, I hope you're out there listening to this. I, I hope your ears are going to perk up. Noam Dar held a press conference. And it wasn't held by Alicia Fox. No, 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 it wasn't. But, and it wasn't shown on Fox Sports. But it was in... They don't know anything about wrestling. It was in a pretty obvious like like hotel like extra room. And uh, for some reason, Trend Seven was there. Also, I think they added micro, uh, some echo to the microphone <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> to make it seem bigger. And then there's just Trend Seven on the other, on the other, uh, uh, on the side, and saying, "Why are we even doing this?" And he gets a call from Drake Maverick. It was like, "Yeah, we don't want him either. Why don't you, you please take <laughs> him back? We don't want him either." Um, <laughs> it was it was pretty it was pretty fun and some classic Noam Dar. That's yeah. probably um, probably two weeks ago at uh, uh, NXT UK. Uh, he was talking about the future of Noam Dar. Uh, so, no. I mean, we all want to know about the future of Noam Dar. Mm-hmm. We all want to know. Don't act like you don't. Mm-mm. Uh, <laughs> I'm not familiar. Tina's talking about, do, 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 uh, about Fox Sports Flub. Oh, yeah. Um, 
that's why I was I was saying Fox Sports really doesn't know anything about wrestling. Um, local announcers during the Minnesota Vikings game, I think Ray mm-hmm. Mysterio was in the crowd, so mm-hmm. you know. Uh, Fox was showing the game and SmackDown's going to Fox. So like, oh, there's a wrestler in the crowd. Let's show the wrestler in the crowd. They said Rey Mysterio, quote, was like a luchador, like Nacho Libre. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Are you serious? Yeah, like that. That's not that's just. I can't. It's it's uninformed and borderline racist. (laughs) Wait, wait. Well, we're it's talking Fox. about Jack. Black. Okay, yeah, it's Fox. But yeah. th- that's true. Um, yeah. yeah, I. That's... Yeah. Not great, Bob. No. Not a great look. Not great, Bob. Was there like, Bob? Was actually like, a Bob? Uh, no, it's a it's a meme. But like, if because you know you're gonna throw it to a professional wrestler, mm-hmm. all you have to do is just say, "Oh, there's WWE superstar Rey Mysterio. Looks like he's enjoying the game." But this is this is like that's it. That's all you have to this say. This is classic, like like uh, uh, announcer, newscaster, foot and mouth syndrome that we see every week on last week tonight with uh, yeah. John Oliver, it's, isn't it? It's not. It's not the first time this week either. Hmm. Uh, Keith Olbermann took a screenshot of Braun Strowman on Baseball Tonight, mm-hmm. and he's just like, "Really?" I'm like, "Yeah." That was nice. Matter? So wait, are you talking about the like when he was at the softball game talking about his yeah. dad? Like that, I saw that on Twitter. Um, that that whole clip was there. We're him talking about his dad. His dad was like a fast, a fast pitch softball. Like I don't know, like not a legend, but like a pretty big deal. I also- I assume I assume that this is actually like rookie of the year, and it was his mom instead. But he always heard it was his dad. <laughs> okay. Spoiler alert for the end of rookie of the year. <laughs> Apologies to those of you who haven't watched it. Yes, yes. Um, to your your Float friend and it. mine, the rookie of the year. Do I need Float to? It. Do I need to tweet him again? Thomas Ian Nichols. Yes. You can if you want. It, I, but yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, so so uh, are you guys ready for? I mean, you know, uh, wrestling fans meticulously looking at <laughs> references. So, jeez. Bronze dad was a slow pitch legend. Oh, is that what? Yeah, no, I know. I thought, I, it, was a, I thought it was a fast pitch. I was... well, I think fast pitch is just major league baseball. So That's tr- okay. Okay. Also, <laughs> I didn't know like slow pitch softball was like that big of a thing. Like I know like the the World Series, the Little League World Series, is a huge thing because Chachi. It's like Chachi's favorite thing to watch, but I don't know. Um, never watch the Goonies and never will. Oh, I don't blame Alex. You. Alex. No, I don't blame him on that. But you're not going to get like half the references in Stranger Things. Uh, no, I get them all. Thank you. You know, I was like, I was watching Stranger Things. And I'm like, wow, this is really derivative. And then like, for season three, then I realized, oh shit, no, that's what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Like, they, like I they, forgot that was the gag. They did almost the whole plot of Back to the Future. Did, like it, while watching Back to the Future. Yeah, yeah. What there was all like yeah. about this is Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Well, yeah, that's very alien. Oh wait, that's that was the point. That's why we like this thing in the first place. Exactly. But Sorg, can we talk about something? <laughs> okay. C H A M P I O N. Diamonds on her neck, cause she's fabulous. Finally. Carmella. Finally. Finally. Finally, Carmella has broken that glass ceiling. And become the 24 7 oh, champion. Finally, Carmella has realized R Truth is dead weight. Yes. She was like, hey, you know what? It's my turn for a little yeah. bit. Hey, but he still like left with her, didn't he? Hey, you know what? I'll give him I'll give him that. He's loyal. Exactly. I still don't think he lost it. Uh he thinks he, he lost also, it. He also he yeah, he also may still think he's the champion. Yes. Because... He may think they're one symbiotic being at the Right. Point. The belt uh are Armella, yeah, Car Truth. Arm Armella. Wow. What? Oh God, I could see that happening. How's Armella. that? How's not that not been a thing we've come up with yet? Or just Car Truth. Car Truth. Yeah. Then they can get. Then they can get a sponsorship with Carfax. Mmm. Carfax. It's car. It, it's Car Truth with a Carfax. My sister has a Carfax. Wow. Like a plush Carfax. It's weird. Okay. 
I don't know okay. why she has it. I, I always forget that's, to ask. That's very odd. Yeah. It's just one of those, like, you're just sitting in the living room, and you're just like, that's a car fox. Mm-hmm. Huh. Huh. Um, now, now, Sorg, next time you see her, you need to say, can't let you do that, car fox. <laughs> I'm going to see her Wednesday, <laughs> actually. Um, just go to do a barrel roll. <laughs> Try a somersault. <laughs> what the fuck? Star Fox. Star I Fox. know. Star Fox. The car Fox. Uh, Use not... the boost to chase. Oh, jeez. What else happened tonight, sir? Ladies are are fighting. Ladies are doing stuff, Sorg. Yeah. It, it's Lacey Evans. I still can't decide if I love her sharpshooter or hate her sharpshooter. <laughs> Also, we're still doing stuff with Natty. I'm just I'm not keeping up with this. I I think we have to at this point. Like, because there's no one else on Raw. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no one else exclusive to Raw. Yeah. And and come the draft, Bailey ain't going to be out with Sasha anymore. Mm-hmm. Unless they're on the same show. Yeah. Well, with, anything can happen. Because it's, it's the draft. It's crazy, Mike. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Sorry, can you shut the window? I feel a draft in here. <laughs> oh, boy. I almost killed Sorg with that. Oh, That's boy. Uh, NXT. Let's see. We got a live NXT this week. I'm, I'm, oh, just, I'm just thinking oh, of my brother, personal wrestling schedule. That's, uh, and we have SmackDown tomorrow night. SmackDown with, uh, tomorrow night. I watched, I watched SmackDown. SmackDown CSI. I watched SmackDown this morning. <laughs> oh, lovely. How, how did you like the, uh, the, the legal drama? The legal drama, yeah. It's... Uh, by the way, that's actually going to get resolved on the serious finale of Suits. <laughs> There's a crossover for you. Uh, on your way out the door, put 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 someone over on the way out the door, SmackDown. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Let's put over Suits. <laughs> oh, Fucking boy. Um, Fucking Suits. It was a perfectly cromulent Raw tonight. Yeah, I mean, you know, it. Well, and but to be fair, perfectly cromulent for a season finale is kind of terrible. Oh, it was a season finale. It was a season finale. It always screws me up when they say. By the way, um, I forget who asked me, because uh, someone did ask me on Twitter, if this is the season finale of Raw. Yeah. How many episodes are in a season? To which I respond, fifty-two. Because mm-hmm. that's how many weeks there are in a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I'm not sure if you've heard this, but Raw is the longest running weekly episodic television show. <laughs> I'm not sure if you've heard that story. I don't know if that's ever been, you know, spread around there or anything. Tina's but... saying that she just saw the Mori promo for Mike and yep. Maria. Yep. Yep. Mori Povich is going to be on uh, Raw. First of all, Mori's still doing shit. Holy shit! Um, and I, I, no, I, I actually don't think he is doing shit. Oh, he's I not doing a show. He, I don't know if he is. Or they not. just oh, dug no. him up. Hold on, here no, we go. He, oh no, actually, he um, might be. Yeah. Hey Siri, what is Mori Povich doing right now? You may not want the answer to that right now. MoriShow.com, the official website of syndicated television show that explores compelling relationship and family issues. Video showing now. Da, da, da. Uh, does your grandmother dress way too sexy for her age and needs a makeover? Hmm. Hmm. So they're interviewing Monroe Sky about Marjo. Mm. That's a that's a Ms. And Mrs. Mrs. Reference. Yes. 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 Um. Speaking of which, Ms. And Mrs. is now on the network. Uh huh. Excited because yes. I am. Really tired of being subjected to Spanish Universal Studios ads on the USA app. Excellent. <laughs> it's, m- 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 no, Ms. and Mrs. is great. No, it is. It is. It's I just, a, I just hate watching shit on there. There will be fifty year, fifty three next year. Just saying. You know, Tina. <laughs> all right. I'm not what you would call a math wizard. Like I said, time is an. Wait, aren't you like culture. a chemist? I'm a chemical engineer, not a math fucking wizard. All right, it's not math. Okay, it's a little math. It's not a lot math. It's not like all the math. It's not. Yeah, okay. and plus, I'm not on the clock here. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, 
What else happened on Raw tonight, And just sir? because there's an extra day doesn't mean there's an extra week next year. It depends on how it rolls out. Yeah, it depends on how it rolls out, but I don't weeks. think that's how that works. I don't know. Somebody needs a math it for us. Can we get a calendar? An, oh, a numerologist. That's what we yeah. need right now. See, that's what we need. Mm-hmm. We need a numer. And I, I damn sure I'm not no numerologist. <laughs> nope. Um... Alex in California says favorite part of Raw is when Bray has the claw. He sounds like he is nutting. That's your favorite mm. part? Well, um, I question a lot of things about you now, Alex. <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, sure. Okay. I I don't know how he knows what that sounds like. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I mean, you're making a lot of assumptions. There. A lot. I mean, our, that's what we do for the living on the show. That's a fair point. Yes. Uh, and, uh, sorry, Tina. I didn't mean to shush you. I'm shushing the situation. How are you with King Corbin so far? Sure. Sure. It's fine. The ki- the the crown is now dark. Yeah. No. Uh, I I like that. Um. It's- I. Yeah, it's, it's a fine. good look for him, man. I was it's hoping fine, it's, yeah. it's very kind of Game of Thronesy looking. Um, like he looks sorry, like sorry, you can he, literally say that about any crown, though. He looks like he could be um, definitely inbreeding um, in the in the Northlands. Wow, that is telling. Okay, <laughs> that means it's a good uh, Game of Thrones look. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, okay. Sure, I I think Game of Thrones a Game of Thrones look has way less manufactured hair. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's mean it's not, and and not as many uh, not as not a skin tight shirt as much. I I, I don't know about that necessarily, but you know God. some of it. So there's there's been points where I don't know. I feel like I'm turning a corner right now. There's a certain point in my life where I could not digest Law and Order episodes. Okay, uh huh. Go with me on this. That's where fine. I, I I sat in a television. At some point, I sat in this television um, um, meeting uh, of sorts where they talked about how certain ideas get worked into scripts and dis- dis- disseminated across like television shows and things like that. Like, hey, right. there should be awareness on such and such that's happening. I'm like, uh, hey, did you know carbon monoxide is bad? And then they're like, there's carbon monoxide poisoning on Law and Order or something, right? Uh, uh-huh. I, I, the stupid example, but that kind of thing. Um, to the point, then I started watching like Law and Order, Procedurals, Bones. Uh, I can't even watch Lucifer because I cannot watch a police procedural right now. Like okay. the writing, the format of the show is so transparent to me. And this is not, I'm not trying to put down anybody that like loves Law and Order and stuff. Like I used to watch the shit out of it. Uh, NCIS, uh-huh. stuff like that, right? Uh-huh. Um, and, and I'm getting to this point on Raw. Where it's holy fuck that is written for you and it's so bad. When Sword. Baron's getting into the short jokes, when like uh-huh. something Sasha it, and somebody was talking about this on Twitter lately, where where it's like words are coming out of their mouths that are not them and their character at all. Like right. like the wording, like they're read like not they're not reading, but they're they're reading in they're reading something in their mind. Yeah, they're say they're they're structuring sentences that are not going to happen in a promo and conversation, right? Mm-hmm. It like they're, they're, or, these or you have finally now come to where I've been with Raw for the past two years. <laughs> it's just I don't. It took you a bit. It's but yeah, it's been hitting me hard the last like yeah three weeks, baby. Like there, there are a few people that buck the trend. Kevin Owens stands out as one of them. Most what, times, what? Yes, most times depends what, on depends on what angle he's in. The the worst for me is the. And Kofi and Seth do as good as they can do with these, but you can tell like him or Roman, and the, you know Roman, you know, has been classically bad at this. That we've had you know problems with him over the last several years, right? Uh-huh. And just, um, you know, you can tell they're just 
scouring through this thing, this whole explanation, da da da, story, da da da. Please, you know, God, let me kick this to a a video clip so I can stop talking. But then that's also a horrible format too. I think I think Kofi's generally better at it. Yes, because I I watch a lot of Up Up Down Down, and his speaking is very similar to how it is like on that where they're definitely not scripted right right they're able to make it their own a little bit more and that is that is a skill not everybody has Mm. just because you can do a headlock doesn't mean that you can do that right yeah like like working with a script that's already written down and making it your own voice is very difficult especially when you don't know your own voice production note what was up with bray's uh, uh audio I don't know if they did a live or something, but something somebody jacked that up and it was a little too high. Oh, I don't know. I had a similar. It, it sounded like the thing that I did uh, when we cranked the the commentary up. Just a, it wasn't like real, real bad, but just like a little bit of that. Oh, that's a little bit hitting the top, you know, kind of thing. It's a little, little pop in the peas. A little bit, of, little not the pop in the peas, but more the <laughs> I, I I my voice is hitting the top of the room, you know, oh. and 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 like hard. You know, um, it just it was startling to me and like sitting on my iPad watching it, you know, it was just like, what's going on, Bray? You know, yeah. so I, I don't know if, you know, this, this has been a thing that's been surrounded by uncomfortable uh, visuals and noises. Yeah. Uh, by the way, did you notice the beginning of Raw? The uh, opening signature, the then now forever was Wyatt Funhouse. No, really? So yes. I was about five minutes late tuning it in. I lost. Ah, time. okay. So you missed that. That's oh. how. That's how the show opened. Like they did the then now forever thing, but it was all distorted. Really? Yeah, it's actually they'll probably they'll probably I don't know if they'll do it on SmackDown. Probably not because they have nothing to do with that. But and I'm looking at these pictures and Baron Corbin's uh, King Corbin's my favorite Baron Corbin right now. Yeah, you can't call him Baron Corbin anymore because no, no, uh, Baron no. Baron is a lower rank in the um, in the hierarchy. Between that and and Corey, um, Baron, uh, I'm pretty me. I'm pretty sure just means he's a landowner. Co- yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Corey um, relaying his proclamations is also mm-hmm. a fun bit. Uh-huh. Uh So yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Corbin's fine. Um. I don't know why he's still feuding with Chad Gable, who's on SmackDown and a very lower tier card guy. But whatever, it's it's what you're gonna do. Hey, got to do something with them, right? So, um, anywho, I, that's all I got for this week, Mike. There wasn't a lot that happened. There really wasn't. Like, um, Dolph Ziggler wasn't on for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. So we got no, like AOP attacked people backstage. Yeah, which is good. I, I'd much prefer them speaking in their own native language and threatening people and saying you're not hard enough. But like that, that's what that's that's how I want my AOP. Queen. Like I, I forget who I think it was Brandon Stroud compared the AOP's like threats last week to the quotes you'd see after you beat someone in Street Fighter Two. Oh, that's great! Oh, they're a Street yeah. Fighter character. Yeah. Oh, that's that. That yeah. has me right there. Okay. Okay, Good. you got me. Good. Ah, uh, the AOP from the Great Land of Shadowloo. <laughs> See, Akim and Raza, when they show up to NXT and destroy your entire tag team division, it was the greatest show you've ever seen. But for them, it was Wednesday. Yes, I, I love miss it. You, Raul Julia, I miss you, Raul Julia. So oh, much. R.I.P. Raul Julia. R.I.P. Sorg, if, Sorg, if I could bring one actor back from the dead, just to create a sequel of a movie, I want Raul Julia back to make Adam's Family Three. I was wondering where you go. I was like, do you want a Street Fighter Two? What's happening? I would also accept that, but like a Street Fighter Two, Two, now. Hey, uh, like with old Van Dam, with old Raul Julia, like all of it. Since we're rolling off topic again, I guess gotta... Chun Li is Agent May from Agent. I gotta Chishu. make sure the thing I just saw wasn't a fever dream that we had a discussion with, and a fan thing that I came across. Tom uh-huh. Welling is going to be part of Arrowverse this year, right? And so is uh, Erica Durant. Hmm? Lois, <gasps> Lois. 
Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank and, you. Because I saw I'm, that, and I thought and I'm you told me. I'm actually just catching up on Supergirl now. Mm-hmm. So are you caught up on Supergirl? Listen, sir, I just set up my Netflix because now I finished the Stranger Things. I'm like, okay, so Arrow, so, Arrow versus next. It, it's, so can I, can I can I do a slight thing? Do a, a slight, slight thing. Do a slight thing. Okay. Um, if they do what they did with Lex Luthor in Supergirl, I don't know what they did. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, but if they do what they did with Lex Luthor in Supergirl. To Mike and Ro- Michael Rosenbaum from Smallville, I will be a very happy boy. Hmm. That's that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to spoil it for you because I almost fell off the elliptical when I saw it. It was a great listen, moment. man. Whenever the uh, the Nazi uh, crossover happened, um, sword that was like two seasons ago, right? Yeah, sword. Yeah, I'm like right after that. Sword. This is. I think gonna be better. Okay. Okay. Um I hashtag red daughter. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Man. Sorry, I'm uh-huh. on, listen, man, I'm on this I'm on this line because I watched Batman Hush tonight and then the comic book guys came in. Batman Hush was good. It was. Batman it was, was and it good. threw me because Spoiler guess, alert. It's yes. different than the book. It's way different from the book. Because I was like I was talking to my buddy who I talk comics with and I was like, so let me, let me, let me just run some, cause I thought I read hush <laughs> and so I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> and I'm like, this seems different. And I told him cause he doesn't care about spoilers. And he's like, Oh, that's, that's a take. I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, it is. It's, by the way, t- also good. also on my radar, I, I bought the I've got through the first episode, bought the rest, still, but I'm distracted now by Apple Arcade, um, Telltale series, still great. Um, mm-hmm. Being buddies with the Joker, yeah. Well, it's not. It's at the beginning of the second season, but um, or you know what you should watch in conjunction with this if you're playing the Batman Telltale games, Xavier Woods did a playthrough. Really. Yes, you should you should pause your game, catch up on the episodes he's done on Up Up Down Down. <laughs> Honestly, you really should. You'll love it. Because I haven't played I haven't played the Telltale game, but I feel oh, like I have now. Man. His his Batman is a dark Batman. I would completely it's let, great. I would completely lend to you if they weren't difficult digital download uh situations. <laughs> I got I can I can give you the disc to play episode one of the first season, but that's it. Uh, it, it, <laughs> I like I said, I have enough games. I say, I man, just just throw it on your phone. Just you know, to pull it up. Just I don't have room on my phone, <laughs> dude. I filled my two fifty six uh, phone today, and I'm like, Sorry, I have a, I have a sixteen. Yeah, you. Have... <laughs> I'm just like, how do I have seventy gigs of videos on this thing? What happened? Right? Know, it's been I... at like half or like forever, and I've been editing and shooting video. But man, there's no way I did 70 gigs on this thing. And uh, we should mention oh. Brandon saying next week um, that there's going to be a segment that I'm just going to want to skip. Of, of Raw. Of Raw. Uh, Hogan and Flair are going to be on Miss. Yeah, TV. I was worried about you when I when I heard about that. Oh man! Um, Whoa! Unless Whoa. the Fiend takes them both out. I found out what the problem is. What's that? Uh, I downloaded Deadpool 2 about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times in one app. I bet Deadpool did that for you. And also uh, Into the, the, into the Spider Verse is downloaded about five times as well. To be fair, that's that's fine. I mean, you I always mean, want backups of that movie if you can stand it. Sometimes I accidentally tell uh, Google Home to play Into the Spider Verse. Um, the movie by accident instead of the soundtrack, and it, play, it starts playing on my TV, and I just let it go. Sorg, playing that movie is never an accident. They just to say, I keep her in check. She was all bad, bad, nevertheless. Calling it quits now, baby, I'm a wreck. Crash at my place, baby, you're a wreck. Ah. Oh my god, I love that movie so much. So good, so good. Stop fucking up, Sony! Mike, you're at Mad Mike four eight three on the tweets. YouTube.com slash poppy. I am at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh <laughs> did you see the poppy video I sent you? I I don't know, know if you can watch it because it's on like YouTube premium. 
Oh, then I probably It's can't. like a half an hour movie thing of, and I think they killed the original Poppy at the beginning or something. It's okay. strange and great. Okay. And I lasted four I need four to minutes. at some point find the Poppy graphic novel. <gasps> no. There's a Poppy graphic novel. I need to find it at some point. Man. It's, it's like, it's like even more fucked up Black Mirror. Um, Jeez. Okay. Anyways, um, thank you so much. Uh, we will be uh, with comedian Jake. Wheels of Wheels. Of course, you love the movie. It's a great movie. <laughs> Sorry. What the hell. Um, <laughs> we will have comedian Jake Cooper will be returning the show tomorrow. Ronnie Starks will be back with us once again. Mad Mike is. I I might be here. It is going to be a game time decision based on what has happened today to me. So um, if I'm happening. not here. If I'm not here tomorrow, um, Sorg, you have to tell Ronnie to go fuck himself. Okay. Um, also, assume I'm in the worst kind of hell you can imagine. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, for me, personally. Like, my personal hell. Uh, I feel like that is like watching, being made to watch the entirety of Total Divas and Bellas in succession. Yeah, I may have already done that. Oh, okay. Oh, been there, done that. <laughs> Got the t-shirt. <laughs> Got the yep. t-shirt. Mike's been to Total Total Divas Hell and back. Mm-hmm. Mm. Indeed. Thanks so much, guys. I'm going to queue up a thing and stall for a moment. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.